guys, it's happened again. Do you remember Black Griffin? Who stole my whole thing. My impressions. Everything. You know what he's done. He's taken it to the next level. He went to America's Got Talent. He's doing my thing in front of Simon Cowell. I can't believe this. Anyway, I'm here with my buddy Jonas. And we're gonna watch this. I just hope they will do terrible. And Simon Cowell will be like, Oi, mate. That was dreadful. I like Rumi official better. Let me just say one thing. Your enemy is my enemy. I got you. I'm Gabriel Brown. And I'm Nate Brown. Tell me about yourself. We're both Navy veterans. Just like me. Kidding, I'm not. <laughs> We're also autistic. Mm. So socializing is difficult, and this is kind of terrifying. But <laughs> My brother's more extroverted, so I let him do the talking. I actually think they're both pretty easy to talk to. Now I saw this, I'm like, okay, maybe some like minor things make you know a little bit more sense. But like, I think they're very functional. But high functioning, I figure, means that we're good at pretending that we're normal. I don't like that word normal. I don't either, because I've never met a normal person. Me either. I don't know what normal is. Wow. I totally agree with the sentiment, but this feels like such like kicking in open doors. Yeah, yeah, it's a little yeah. bit like, <laughs> I'm against racism. <laughs> Being mean to <laughs> others is bad. There we go, yeah. So I have these cards. If I could bring them down to you, would that be yes. okay? Thank you. Oh, that's this such an interesting Nathaniel thing. Communicates. Oh. This is just an excuse to see you guys up close. You look amazing. Oh my God. Okay. Um, these are character cards, and these are um, I song cards. Out? And yes, if you could please select one of each. Oh, I know which one I'm keeping. <laughs> <laughs> and then please place them on these easels that we made in my garage. Pick one yellow and one blue. Thank you. You put it's it so here, clever. Yeah, it actually. is. Jokes aside. It's a great impressionist. Letting them combine songs like that is crazy because obviously, like, you can't practice every combination that much. So this is a little yeah. nerve-wracking because we have no idea what's gonna happen. I mean, look at him. Of yeah. course. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Chose himself. Tiny dancer, Kermit the Frog. So people don't know this, but actually toured with like an army band when he was in the army. So he was like singing abroad, entertaining people in the army and stuff. So he has so much experience singing live. He always sounds amazing. Lay me down in seats of linen. Oh, that's great. We had a busy day today. Photograph and Donald Duck. Yeah. Look at this photograph. Oh, so he's doing his normal singing first on the first one, because I was confused. Yeah, I think he's doing an impression of the original singer first. Yeah, I got confused at first. Yeah, they didn't explain that very well. It feels like maybe they cut down for time. I know there's a lot of editing happening always in these. <laughs> <laughs> you laugh at that impression. I don't think you react the way those girls did. What? Donald Duck what? voice? <laughs> <laughs> He's doing a good job actually singing with the Donald Duck voice. It can be hard to get like tone in that. Nailing the Clarence Nash voice. Oh, that's great. Did you sail across the sun? Did you make it to the Milky Way to see the lights all faded? Where heaven was overrated? Tell me, did you fall for a shooting star? Yes, yeah, it's a SpongeBob, right? And one without a permanent star. Yeah. Did you miss me while you were looking for <laughs> Simon doesn't sing, right? No, I don't think so. I let my guard down. That's so good. <laughs> That's great. To be someone to judge. Amazing. Oh, that was funny. You will be found. Ben Platt. Oh, that's perfect. Even when the dark comes crashing through, when you need a friend to carry you, when you're broken on the ground, you will be found. It's just frustrating how good Nate is at singing, too. When I talk yeah. to Nate, he'll be like, Nate, this sounds amazing. He's like, I don't know, man. I feel like I need to tune myself too much or whatever. And then you hear him live, he's like, dude, you don't need that at all. You're annoyingly good.
If it wasn't a ripoff of my thing, this would be great. <laughs> Can I play devil's advocate here for a sec? This was very impressive and everything, right? But I'm thinking, considering it all ended a little bit too perfectly with this song that they happened to like have this epic harmony finale to. Basically, I'm just wondering how likely do you think it is that in the pre-scouting, they knew that this was going to be a great act and to maximize how great this was going to be on the TV, they already pre-decided what cards each of them were going to choose and they have practiced those specifically. I think it's unclear if they got to practice it specifically. I would say that the producers probably decided on the song choices because song choice is like really important. In things like American Idol, you're not even allowed to choose your own songs a lot of time. You have to get it approved by the production team. So you can't choose like Poo Poo Pee Pee song by the Poo Poo Pee Pee man that no one knows. Yeah, like yeah. It's got to be like whatever, a Britney Spears song or like a Harry Styles song or whatever. And you know, same here probably. I agree with you. I didn't even think of that. You got a brain on you, bro. Because I also noticed how perfectly it landed when he changed the lyrics on Simon Cowell's song. Mm. He said something about all I want to do is judge or something. I was getting kind of used to being someone to judge. Yeah, you may be right. I'm going to have to ask him about that. I mean, I could never probably talk about that in public if he says that it was prepped because... <laughs> You know, I mean, it's still really impressive. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, it's exciting. I want to text them and congratulate them on this because it's cool. And I want to tell them that if they earn any money from this, I need 50%. And I'm employed by you, so I'll have a piece of that as well, please. That's how it works. Okay, do you think they're going to get to the next round? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. You were so good. Ah! Thank you so much. You were so good. Like speaking to a child. You were so good, little buddies. Has anyone ever done your voice this good ever no before? One. No, yeah. actually no. That was actually perfect. It was, was frightening. It was frightening. Genuinely, I love your personalities as well. Personalities, like you can make a judgment on anyone's personality from like whatever two seconds on stage. I think both of them are amazing people. Like I know them both pretty well and they have great personalities. Apart from, you know, stealing from me. They have some kind of like weird thing in their brains where they just like to steal. I'm sure they steal the silverware from restaurants or whatever as well. Other than that, they're great. The performance was just spectacular, <laughs> fun. It was on point. <laughs> the choices that we had were so funny. I mean, the people are loving you guys. <laughs> they check so many different boxes. You're a very good singer and you're good musicians. You're a uh, very skilled impressionist. Yeah. I will give you your first yes. Heidi. I'm gonna give you a second yes. Sophia. Three yeses. No, four yeses. Okay. Hey. 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 Slam dunk. Let's do this, fellas. I hope they go far. I want to see what else they're going to do. Maybe they'll do something that isn't like stolen from me at something. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe that. Let's go. That's so funny. Their acting there was pretty funny. I, I just, that's so funny. <laughs> so scripted. That's just yeah, <laughs> it's just like, hey, can you guys like, oh, like there's no camera there. Oh my God. That's crazy. Four yeses. To be clear, we're not poking fun at them. We're poking fun at the four, man. Oh yeah, of course. Of course. I'm really happy for them. I'm going to be following it. Maybe I'll make more reactions if there's more interesting things. Big ups to Nate and Gabe. You guys are two of my favorite people. Of course, the whole like stealing thing is kind of a meme. And yeah, check out this video where I react to Gabe's original impressions if you want to. Quite funny. Same type of meme. But in a more isolated, like, studio setting, he did it. I also have impression videos. Uh, if you want to check those out, the originals. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, Jonas, for joining me. Bye. Bye-bye.